Happy news, my lovely, wonderful people. You will be shocked and surprised by what Femi Falana said with regards to, you know, um, EFCC seeking to arrest the runaway uh, ex-governor of Kogi State. You know, um, I mean, Falana, Femi Falana has turned it to a whole new level and Nigerians are really looking at all the options we have before us and wondering what this country what we have in this country and where we're going okay in terms of how things are and how things can really sincerely change you know femi falana looked at the whole thing and said uh, there are contradictions in terms of what is going on with our our uh, you know judiciary system court a is saying differently court b is saying differently you know court a is saying do this court b is saying do that you have the federal high court from abuja giving a uh, given a judgment you have the uh, high court in kogi giving another judgment and when you look at the whole thing it's really confusing honestly sincerely truly speaking so it makes it in fact the, the, the judiciary is not one voice nigerians are in a space in a situation where Confusion seemed to be the order of the day, you see. So it is high time Nigerians begin to do what is needed, what is necessary in order to change the course of what is going on here and now. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. EFCC didn't breach Kogi High Court order by seeking arrest of runaway ex-governor. Yahaya Bello says Femi Falana, EFCC has done the right thing. The governor is not above the law. Femi Falana citing some paragraph from the judgment of the Kogi State High Court that, the, that it is completely alleged by baseless and does not make sense. Adding that the court did not grant such wide order for being that is being claimed by Yahaya Bello. The senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, has faulted the allegations of the embittered former governor of Kogi State and the Economic and Financial Crime Commission disobedient to the order of the Kogi High Court by seeking to arrest him before the Federal High Court in Abuja. The Kogi Court has said, Femi Falana, the Kogi court has said Yahaya Bello cannot be arrested. However, Femi Falana says it is baseless, it makes no sense and have no meaning and that cannot be received and accepted. As this has become a real clear court, you know, uh, clear court vivid explanation that something is seriously wrong. So Nigerians are watching and we want to understand what exactly is going on here and why, whether you like it or not, okay, the judiciary system in our country is confused. I would say confused because uh, allegedly some judges receive, you know, uh, things under the table and they pretend that all is well. They go on and they act as if everything is all right. They support the individuals you know, give the judgment that, that, you know, they want. And at the end of the day, there is, you know, difference as though they know they use the same textbook as if it is not one thing. Okay. So it's, it's very, very unbelievable that one court will say A, another court will say B. So Nigerians, Nigerians are clearly, you know, confused in terms of what our judiciary is saying. Some say A, some say B, then there is serious confusion because nobody honestly, sincerely, truly speaking, you know, is really giving the true definition of what should be. Some are saying A, others, so there is conflict in terms of how things should be. There is serious conflict. Everybody is trying to really navigate and understand how, you know, we can get a clear cut judgment that could be different. And that could bring about a difference. So Nigerians are not happy with the way things are. Kogi, you know, High Court is saying, 
Yahaya Bello must not be arrested or persecuted. He's given an order that he cannot be arrested or persecuted. Then guess what? Moving on from there, we are seeing another, 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 another uh, judgment from the Federal High Court in Abuja. So is it that there is, there is conflict of interest within the judiciary? Everybody cannot really, we don't really know what these things are. We don't understand it. Everybody's trying to understand what exactly is going on here. It has become imperative that we do all that is needed, necessary to put this country right in order. It is a shame, but these things are sincerely really happening. These things are sincerely, truly really happening. How can we truly, sincerely, you know, alter some of these things going on? Nigerians, we can't continue like this. No, we just can't. There is just too much going on. Too much. Judiciary, everybody is giving a judgment that, you know, you know that, that suits them, that helps them, you know, get what they want. Some are paid in dollars and all that. And these are, these are very, very sensitive matters where truth and honesty should become the watchword. However, these things we do not see. What we see is a different ballgame altogether. It is sad, but that's the reality of what is going on. Yahaya Bello is getting, you know, is getting, is getting, you know, different, different, uh, you know, different uh, judgment altogether. Is getting different things being done altogether. And everybody is wondering. Everybody is wondering, you know, what the truth should be. Okay? Everybody is wondering what the truth should be. You know? So it is what it is. It is what it is. Please don't forget, we are all in this to make this country work. We cannot continue like this. There must be one single truth definition, okay, of what our law says. Not some people getting, getting you know, uh, some people get, they get a free pass. Others, you know, are made to face the law. What exactly is going on here? It is sad, but that's the reality of what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. As a nation, as a country, we must move forward. We are tired of the same thing over and over again. It's about time we begin to put this nation back in order so that things can really work properly, decently, and in order. It is important. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Bye for now.